Hey everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. We're looking at Al's XL98C. And he sent this to me with a, was this a used? Yeah, good used cylinder, new piston. When he got it, it had a scored piston and cylinder. Which is not terribly uncommon for these things, but when I first inspected it, I thought that the rod was too loose. It was rocking from side to side way more than I think it needed to. So I, I asked him, hey, uh, have you done any diagnosis on this or, uh, you know, kind of what, what do you got going on? And he said it looked like it had dropped a needle, which again uh, would have been consistent with, I, consistent with the scoring on the piston and cylinder, but something still wasn't quite ringing for me so I started tearing it apart tonight and first thing I'm going to show you is this dull surface it shouldn't be that dull when it's like that you probably have something going on but even more than that and I can't show this on the video but when I put the end caps together and I look at it I can see that it's not a square, it's not a 90 degree shot through here. It's off cockeyed and it's worn on the outer edges. And I can actually see a crown where it's shifted back and forth. Now all the needles were there, amazingly, all 28. And if I was just looking at them, they don't look bad. And I'd be a dipshit to reuse those. So anyway, got the the clutch when it was still all together I thought there was a little too much movement up and down here okay but I went ahead and got the the ignition plate off and this bearing this side the flywheel side didn't seem terrible you can see there's some concrete dust built up in there that's not abnormal but once I got all this apart you can see that same dull look on the crankshaft journal right here but look at this. That bearing is blown the heck out. Now it's not making a bunch of noise, which is amazing, you know. If you just roll it over, it doesn't sound too bad. But that bearing should not be moving up and down like that. Yeah, they'll move a little bit. But this thing... I'm going to guess at some point the filter failed and it ingested some dust. That would be my guess. So, Al, we'll have to decide if you want to go ahead with this or not. I'm, As I feared, we're looking at crankshaft bearing and building it up from there. New rod, new rod bearing. It just, yeah, there's not a lot to be saved on the, the engine here. In fact, next to nothing. It's... Whether or not, uh, yeah, we can find some parts at a reasonable price. So, yeah. So, folks, that's it's unfortunate when one comes up like this, but pay attention to those signs. Dull bearing surfaces, excessive play, and a little bit is normal. That's not. 